We believe Lake Victoria is a transboundary resource. And the conflicts there are economic. They are not security. Even as I speak now, there are Kenyans who are in jail there. And I'm sure all the way this side. But this is not a criminal enterprise. It's just the economic pressure of our people. And because Lake Victoria is a transboundary resource, please let's allow Lake Victoria Fisheries Organization to coordinate, because it's an East African organization. And I remember that time, Magufuli, when he was Minister for Fisheries, before he became President, and the late uh, Mukisa and myself, we signed some agreement to say, let us allow Lake Victoria Fisheries Organization to develop policies for a transboundary resource. Because you can't have the three sister African countries acting in different manners. So why don't we just have a regulation that is for East Africa, and once you comply, you have got one license, and you just comply, so that if we are found that you are fishing in these waters, are you complying? They arrest you, your boat goes, your engine goes, you are in jail, you need to pay. And yet, your intention there was just to look for livelihood. So let us also come up with policies within East Africa to treat Lake Victoria as a transboundary resource managed by all the three or whatever sister countries that surround Lake Victoria. So that even as we start doing this cage farming, I'm sure there are issues that are going to come in. There are issues. Because that's a Kwango Pale in Busia, there are places when you tell people move a little bit in, you'll be in Uganda. Sasa hii makanyaga watu wawajui. Just the way when they fish, they see fish is sleeping in Kenya, it goes to graze or to find food in Uganda. And they pursue it. Hot pursuit, right to pursuit. <laughs> now when they are pursuing fish that has come from there, you are arrested. Hey. Na ikirudi jioni kulala huku, wauzemi kitu. Or when it's breeding on the other side. In short, what I'm trying to say that transboundary resources must be treated as transboundary resources like it is anywhere in the world. And we have got, we allow that Lake Victoria Fisheries Organization to come up with the regulations that govern the East Africa. After all, we are talking about East African Federation and integration, free movement of goods and people. On Lake Victoria alone, the last time I got the statistics was that there were almost 300,000 people every day in that lake looking for livelihoods. Now, if we don't get a common way how to manage, at Ikifika Apa, you want me now to get what? A passport or what? In the lake.